Ever since the invention of the telescope 400 years ago, astronomers have been studying Jupiter. Who could resist? It's such a big bright target in the night sky. Let us begin our journey to the gas giant, Jupiter. 1. How was Jupiter formed? There are many theories about the origins of Jupiter. Here is what we think happened nearly 5 billion years ago. A star in our galaxy exploded. The explosion caused a nearby cloud of gas and dust to collapse and flatten into a spinning disk. Most of the gas and dust collected into a hot dense core that became our sun. The remaining debris formed the planets and other small bodies in our solar system. And the majority of that debris came together to form the giant planet Jupiter. Of all the eight planets, we believe Jupiter formed first. Understanding the formation of Jupiter is essential to understanding the origins of our entire solar system. The formation of Earth and the most basic foundations of life as we know it. 2. How is the atmosphere on Jupiter? Jupiter's atmosphere is special because it is the solar system's largest planetary atmosphere. It is made up of hydrogen and helium in roughly the same proportions as are found in the Sun. However, it also contains much smaller amounts of other space gases, such as ammonia, methane and water. 90% of the atmosphere of Jupiter, a huge proportion, is made of hydrogen. It would be impossible for humans to breathe in this atmosphere. So, if you are thinking of traveling to space, to do some hands-on astronomy research, you would have to wear a breathing suit when visiting this planet. 3. Jupiter's Magnetic Field Magnetic fields have been a curiosity for thousands of years, and so of course we know now that magnetic fields are generated by what's called dynamo action, the convective motion of an electrically conducting clue. Jupiter is a gaseous planet. There is no magnetized crust that obscures our view of the dynamo deep below so, the exciting part about the Jupiter is that we are able to image the magnetic field on the dynamo surface in a way that would never ever be possible on Earth. Jupiter is also the planet with the largest magnetic field. Its magnetosphere is huge. If you were to look up into the night sky, and if you could see the outline of its magnetosphere which you can't, it would be about the size of the moon in the sky. It's a very very large magnetosphere, in fact in the Voyager program NASA learned that the magnetic tail part of the magnetosphere that is drawn away from the Sun extends all the way out to the orbit of Saturn in all likelihood beyond it's a pity we can't see it. 4. Jupiter's Landscape Jupiter being the largest planet of solar system, can hold more than 1200 Earths. It has dozens of moons. The planet, mostly a giant ball of gas and liquid, also has a dark ring system composed of fine dust grains. Air pressure on Jupiter is almost 1,000 times that on Earth. Winds on Jupiter can blow at as high as 400 meters per hour. It is believed that the core of Jupiter is made up of methane ice, ammonia ice and water ice. Due to Jupiter's high gravity, a person weighing 200 pounds on Earth would weigh 480 pounds on Jupiter. Southern Sphere See Jupiter's southern hemisphere in beautiful detail in this new image taken by NASA's Juno spacecraft. The color enhanced view captures one of the white ovals in the string of pearls, one of eight massive rotating storms at 40 degrees south latitude on the gas giant planet. Storm of the High North 
a dynamic storm at the southern edge of Jupiter's northern polar region dominates this Jovian cloudscape. This storm is a long-lived anticyclonic oval named Little Red Spot. An anticyclone is a weather phenomenon where winds around the storm flow in the direction opposite to that of the flow around a region of low pressure. It is the third largest anticyclonic oval on the planet, typically around 6,000 kilometers long. The color varies between red and off-white within the radius of maximum wind speeds. Ammonia clouds. Thoughts right, all those beautiful whirling clouds and storms you see on Jupiter are only about 50 kilometers thick. They're made of ammonia crystals broken up into two different cloud decks. The darker material is thought to be compounds, brought up from deeper inside Jupiter, and then change color, when they reacted with sunlight. But below those clouds, it's just hydrogen and helium, all the way down. 5. Mystery of Jupiter Moons Jupiter has a 67 confirmed and named satellites. However, it also has four major moons, which are collectively known as the Galilean moons after their discoverer Galileo Galilei. These are, in order of distance from Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Europa, Ganymede, and perhaps Callisto also show strong evidence of liquid water oceans beneath their global ice crust. Europa's ocean is a significant body of water, with amazing potential for life. In fact Europa has twice as much liquid water as Earth, and like the water of Enceladus, it might be accessible. There is some evidence, that Europa may have periodic eruptions of plumes of water, similar to those seen on Enceladus. NASA has even seen apparent icebergs on the surface that are tipped up as if sitting in slush. All of these provide us with tantalizing clues of what lies beneath an ocean of liquid water. 6. Our Journey to Jupiter Jupiter has been visited eight times by spacecraft. Jupiter was first visited by NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft in December 1973, and then Pioneer 11 in December 1974. Then came the Voyager 1 and 2 flybys, both of which happened in 1979. This was followed by a long break. Until, Ulysses arrived in February 1992, followed by the Galileo space probe in 1995. Post that, Cassini made a flyby in 2000, on its way to Saturn. And finally, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its flyby in 2007. The last mission to fly past Jupiter, was Juno spacecraft, that visited Jupiter in 2016-17, by orbiting in Jupiter's polar orbit. Jupiter is by far the most mysterious planet that has characteristics like our Sun. It is always going to be the most interesting planets for NASA due to its age and potential to unravel the mystery of how was the universe formed.